We're highlighting some of the amazing celebrities who call our borough home. Uh, this is so exciting. We're getting a little taste of, you know, celebrity yes. here. Joining us this morning, uh, this is awesome. We have the current undisputed featherweight champion of the world, oh, Brooklyn man. boxer Amanda <laughs> Serrano. So amazing. Now, she will soon Hi. be putting, hey, Amanda. Now, we know you're soon going to be putting that title to the test against Brooklyn native Heather Hardy. Yeah, that match scheduled for Saturday, August 5th in the or in the American Airlines Center that's in Dallas, Texas. So good morning, Amanda. Thank you for joining us. We have to ask, what are some of the things that you know you're preparing for? What have you learned in your last fight against Heather that you're gonna maybe do differently? How do you prep for something like this? Well we all know you have um two Brooklyn girls going at it. So you know it's gonna be best and entertaining. Uh, yeah, I won the, the first fight, and it was a great night of boxing. Uh, we show that we have all the heart in the world. And, yeah, this time we're going to put just a little more pressure, and the fans are going to be the winners of this fight. We, we're the co-main event of, under a great card, and, yeah, we're going to go to war. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be That's the Battle of Brooklyn. I love it. Yeah. Now, Amanda, you've only lost one fight in the last 11 years. That is an incredible record. Mm -hmm. Who or what do you attribute that to? To be able to maintain that kind of consistency is amazing. Yeah. Well, I give all the thanks to my trainer, Jordan. Um, he's like probably the biggest competitor I know. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest sore losers. And I think I, it rubbed off of me a little bit. And... I just, I, I love the taste of victory. It feels really good. I don't like to lose, <laughs> but even though, I mean, the, those two fights were a little questionable. A lot of people thought I won those two fights, but hey, you know, to me, it's not losing, it's learning, and you just go on to the next one, and after those, after that, the, my last loss, I won two world titles, and I became on the Spirit of Champion at my weight that I feel comfortable at. Amazing. Oh, it's just such an interesting um, sport, you know, and what mm -hmm. advice would you, you know, give people that are watching maybe a young woman out there, a young woman boxer trying to climb the ranks? Yeah, be patient. Uh, right now, this is the, the time for women's boxing. You know, I was in the sport when we weren't making anything where we were not recognized, not acknowledged, not respected. But now is the time where women are. This is our time. This is time for women's boxing. Be patient, work hard. My thing, um, greatness requires sacrifice. That's my saying. And I sacrificed my whole life to the sport of boxing. And because of that, I, I accomplished many goals, becoming on the sport of champion. And I think you just got to be patient and work really hard. And just another one of your many accomplishments we saw, having the Guinness World Record for the most world titles in different classes, which is across nine, uh, which is nine across seven different weight classes. Yeah. How does that feel? I mean, you've accomplished so much. Yeah, to me, being seven division world champion has to be one of my biggest accomplishments. You know, becoming on the Spirit of Champion, I wanted to give back to my island. We never had that. Mm. So that was a goal. But being a seven division world champion is extremely hard. It's not easy. And I, I, I believe that is my biggest accomplishment, like I said, because I am one of many undisputed champions, but I am the only seven division world champion. So to me, that's a big accomplishment. And you mentioned the island. She's yeah. in Puerto Rico right now. So yeah. shout out to PR. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, yes. My, my new home in Puerto Rico. Um, yeah, I'm ex super excited. Training camp here is amazing. I can lose weight really easily. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need to do that. See, we'll May come with you next we're time. We're going to find out. <laughs> we're going to join you. Uh, yes, Amanda come. I have, I, have, I have plenty of room for you. Ah, you heard it there. She invited <laughs> us. Uh, Amanda, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. You know, it, it, talking to celebrities, you know, here from Brooklyn. And you're such a down-to-earth person. So we just appreciate you oh. tuning in today. And good luck. Thank you. Thank we'll you for having for me, you. guys. Stay tuned. August 5th is going to be a great night. Two Brooklyn girls going at it. Battle Can't of Brooklyn. Miss. We'll be rooting for you. <laughs> you said it. You said it. Thank you. We'll be following that, of course. Um, bye. Bye. See you, Amanda.